So thank you for the uh, terrific introduction. Um, I want to thank uh, especially Ty Tiesel for this invitation, uh, and the U.S. Department of State, Mr. Daniel Anderson, uh, for inviting me here to this uh, wonderful event. Um, uh, everybody's commented on the flowers, and I suppose I should also. They're truly extraordinary. Uh, the entire event last night's evening uh, uh, was quite remarkable. Uh, so all the organizers of Tai Chi so, uh, should be, uh, feel very proud of what they've accomplished. It's truly a terrific event. So we'll talk a little bit about critical thinking today. Uh, maybe some of you are wondering what uh, the six freedoms, what that means. And we'll get to that in the third part. So today, the talk will have uh, four different parts. Um, there'll be a very short break at the end of part two, which might be a little uh, different than what we're used to. Uh, and at the end of the talk, there will be a final exam. Uh, so uh, there's no experience like real experience. So we'll get to feel what it, what it means to take a final exam again. Uh, we often ask our students to do that. So, uh, pay attention to some of the slides, because there will be a test at the end. So they say if you uh, start a talk with the photo of a baby, a small child, and a puppy, then you will get the audience's attention. So I decided to start the talk with a baby and a small puppy. Um, so hopefully we have your attention. Uh, this is the idea of an image. Uh, and we will come back to this at the end of part two. So I was a judge in, I've been teaching in four, for four years in China, and I was the judge at uh, uh, many different speech competitions. The most recent uh, was four sessions for the publishing house FLTRP. Uh, the idea of the speech competition was for the students to write an idea about their most important concern going into the 21st century. And I thought that that was extremely relevant for why we're all here today, and certainly for my topic. So I carefully wrote down everything that the students were saying, and made a little bit of a statistical analysis of it. And I thought it was an interesting way to start this talk. Um, I will start the talk with the top six student concerns that were represented by over 180 speakers from China, university-level students. Here's the first one. Uh, Dad, why do we need five fingers when there are only two mouse buttons? Internet. Sure, there are many benefits to the internet. But the students brought up two very interesting challenges for the internet. Addiction is one of them. Uh, many students commented on how they've lost some of their friends to the internet, uh, more specifically to games like World of Warcraft. Um, I certainly have lost in my time three or four students to World of Warcraft. But what does this mean for us as educators uh, in terms of internet addiction? The Chinese uh, government has officially recognized internet addiction as a form of addiction and have set up uh, internet addiction uh, camps in Beijing, Sichuan province, and other locations. Plagiarism. Um, two of the students were removed from the speech competition because they had directly downloaded a, another participant's speech. Uh, what does this mean for us as educators going into the 21st century? Dealing with the internet as its benefits and also as its challenges, addiction and plagiarism. This was number five. What do you think that is? One of my more humorous students said that it was a close-up of chopsticks eating rice. 